Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts Design Team, and I'm so excited to share this project with you today. This is an album that I have been working on for a few weeks, and it's a custom album for um, a wedding album. And I use the gorgeous Prima Something Blue collection. I absolutely love this collection. They have the most gorgeous papers. And this album is a very large album. It is, let's see here, about eight and a half by eight. And the binding on it is four and a half. So as you can see, this is a super chunky album. This was so much fun. On the side here, I have this gorgeous satin ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It's in an ivory color, so it went perfectly with the paper line. I added some flat back pearls down the side. I wrapped the ribbon around it a little bit and I did that on the back as well. I used Laura Dennison's Stack the Deck binding system. Hers is my absolutely favorite system. I'm so grateful that she came out with that. On the front here I just cut out two hearts from the Cameo, the Silhouette Cameo, and I stacked about four layers of them so it is dimensional. And I also cut this out as well and made a banner shape out of it and it says, as you can see on this day, I added some of the beautiful flowers. I love these large rosebuds. Um, I'll have all the products linked in the description box below that I used. And I used these Gypsophilia flowers there and some beautiful ivory rosebuds and I added a few pearls tucked around. I'm so happy how this came out and I made the binding um, a little bit loose that way once all the photos are added it'll still open nicely. So let me just take you through the album quickly here. Um, again this was a custom album and the lady that ordered this album had requested that I used one of these silhouettes. She actually requested that I used this specific silhouette here somewhere in the album. So I did add that to one of the tags, but I thought that this was um, a little bit more appropriate for the wedding album. So I added that here. I added Mr. and Mrs. with some pearls. And this is held by a magnetic closure and it opens up. It says blessed beyond measure. So she can add either an invitation, a copy of uh, the wedding invitation in here, or a large photo on the side here. And she did specifically show me some colors um, for the wedding and they were gray and actually this color here and she wanted this to be the Prima Something Blue collection because I've done another album similar to this. So here I made a bracket pocket added this beautiful tag. All of these can, she can add photos to, tinier photos, or just lots of journaling. This beautiful tag here and this tag here, I added a dimensional heart. So lots and lots of room for photos. If she adds photos to all these back pages inside the pockets, um, the side pockets and all the tags, she'll be able to get lots of photos in these albums. This is from the paper collection, this journal card. That's what another thing I like about that collection is it comes with lots of cut out, cutouts. So every single pocket has a very large photo mat. I believe it's like eight and a quarter, or excuse me, seven and a half by six. Uh, okay, I'm completely wrong. Seven and a half by five and a half is the base of this. So she's able to add more photos to the front and back of this. And I made these in the cameo. I have a video, I'll link that in the description box, where I show how to make a, bro a bracket style pullout mat. I thought it would be cute to add a little heart since this is for a wedding. So I won't pull all of these out, but as you can see, every pocket here has a pullout mat. This page here, there's some beautiful ivory satin trim, and this is a belly band on the side. It says, and they lived happily ever after. She can again add either with a white journaling or silver journaling pen or a photo. This is a, a cutout from the collection. And again, a, a large photo can be placed in the back. 
this paper I left blank. It is so gorgeous. I have two side pockets here, bracket style pockets that I designed, and a photo mat that says so much to be thankful for. This is an Allie Edwards stamp. Added some bows with some pearls. And another Allie Edwards stamp that says thankful for this life. Look at that paper, so pretty. So she can add photos inside of the pockets and also one to the back of the page if she'd like. On the side here, I have some beautiful lace from Wild Orchid Crafts. This is just a photo mat of the paper. I have the flat back pearl trim from Wild Orchid Crafts and these beautiful little sweetheart blossoms. On the side here, I made a side pocket using this beautiful cutout from the Cameo. And I also printed this out. It says, all love stories are beautiful, but I like ours best. She can place a photo on the back. And here are some of the journaling cards and cut aparts. I added a cute little paper clip to it. Some flat back pearls on the side. On this side I have a flip open with some bracket shapes. She can add square photos here to the inside or journaling. I have one of the metal flowers with a pearl on the inside, some satin trim that I just pleated and added some flat back pearls to. This here is a cut apart that I glued just the side and the bottom to make a pocket out of it along with some tags, another Allie Edwards stamp says so completely grateful and some more of the cut aparts I love this one it says just married so she can slip photos back here as well and then I have some beautiful ivory and pink hip rosebuds along with some seam binding on this side is a half heart a long time ago, Neen from JJ Showers, she made a pocket in one of her albums out of a heart. And so I asked her a while ago if she would mind if I used it. I did not do a pocket out of it. I just added some of this beautiful trim around it and just used it as decoration. I added some of the summer blooms and a little piece of bling. So this flips open with some more beautiful trim and then of course this can be used for journaling or photos. On this side here I have another bracket style pocket with some cut aparts, a little bow that I cut out and a larger journaling pocket. Again more photos can be placed. This I cut from the Cameo and she can add a large um, square or rectangle photo. I added some satin pink trim and I have some more of that beautiful cotton lace. This is also cut from the Cameo. I added little tiny pearls inside of that and I believe that's from Simple Stories. I added two of the open roses that match this and then a large pocket here that I designed. This is a cut apart, it says say yes to the dress and then this one here. And then I added some of that bling trim and it's a little tag so she can again either write with a silver pen or add photos or a white pen. This side here I have one of the gorgeous white um, organza trim with a couple more of those flowers, some more of that lace along with some flat back pearls, a large photo here. On the side I have a white and pink chrysanthemum along with a couple sweetheart blossoms, some tulips tucked in here and some of the leaves. And it's on this beautiful frame cut from the Cameo and I also put cut a template for her so she can just pull this out, lay it over her picture, draw around it, cut it out, and then the top is left open for her to be able to slide her photo behind it. And lastly, I made a large pocket using this gorgeous cutout from the Cameo, the scallop trim. I added some bling trim here, a tiny little tag. This little tag that I believe is also from 
um, simple stories that says happy little moments and then I added some more of the summer blooms with a pearl on the inside and then inside I have a couple of the cut aparts and I also made a little booklet it says Mr. and Mrs. and in the inside she can add photos to these as well and photos to the pocket and lastly on this back page is a waterfall style um, I did it in brackets so she can use all of this for journaling if she'd like or just place rectangle photos on it and it opens all the way up so lots of photos so I really hope that you enjoyed this was so much fun to make and um, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I do also have a video showing how I make my albums. I don't have one making this specific size, but they're all the same. Once, once you get the technique down, you can adjust it to whatever size album you'd like. So I'll put that in the description box as well, along with all the product codes for these gorgeous wild orchid craft flowers. Thanks so much for watching.